All right, guys, so we've got our camera harness done, and now it's time to do our receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And for this particular build, we're using an XM Plus. All right, so I'm gonna set all this aside here. Let's get our XM Plus, and here's the instructions. I'll be able to show you guys this as well. So remember when we're doing this, guys, we're gonna put the receiver just like we see in the picture. Bind buttons here, antennas are here, and then we have our S Bus 5 volt and ground. Now, I'm gonna take this sticker off to make it easier to access, so there we go. All right, and what we're gonna do for this one is, we're gonna go ahead and just prep this up by tinning it, okay? There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and tin the three pads that are on here, S bus, five volt, and ground. There we go, just like that. All right, now, we are going to take these wires coming out of the side of our setup here, we're going to cut them and strip those and tin those too. All right, so you take that, throw that out. You can unwind these just a little bit. Let's go ahead and strip these like this. So we'll take 5 volt, get rid of that. Uh, let's do the S bus here, which is white on this wire harness. Pull that off. And then let's take the black ground and strip that as well okay and again guys you don't need a lot of wire because the pads are very small on here to attach to with those stripped let's go ahead and add our flux to them okay just like that There's one two and there's three okay and I'll go ahead and tin those real quickly. So we get some wiring here. I mean some solder, so there's one, there's two, and there's three. Okay, now I'm gonna put my old man glasses on so I can see properly. And we are going to tin this here. And again, if you need something to hold it in place, just use something heavy. There you go, clean off the soldering iron, grab my tweezers. There. And we're going to go from the outside, farthest away in, so we're not overlapping on when we solder. So we're going to put our S bus first. There we go. Going to put our 5 volt second. There we go. And we'll add our ground last. Perfect. Okay. This should look like this. This is a very good example. Let me focus that and then I will let me get this here so you guys can see it. I'm afraid that's going to be in the way. So let me bear with me a second. Okay. There you go. We have all three sitting right here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do. Uh, if I can find it, here we go. So we're gonna take our heat shrink. Okay, and I'll take this off now. We'll go back to the regular table here. Take our heat shrink. We'll feed this into here, just like that. Okay, perfect. We're going to heat it up. Lift it up, do the other side so we can both to shrink down. Excellent. Okay. Be careful, it's going to be hot, but if you can, try to press those down a little bit. And we can wind the cable back up there. And our receiver is now done. Okay. So our receiver is finished, our camera is finished. The only thing left is going to be our um, buzzer, all right? Now, again, I do not know where we're gonna put this buzzer, uh, and normally I wouldn't even be adding this, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, not only really gonna cut much of this cable away because I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet, um, but I'm gonna untwist the uh, black and the yellow here, the five volt and the ground for the buzzer, okay? 
and I'm just going to tin it real quickly. And I have a feeling that once I put this frame together, I'll know where I want to put it. All right, so let me go ahead and put some solder on that. Tin those wires. There we go. Okay. Now, look at your buzzer very closely. If you look at this side, you will see where it says positive. I do not know what this means. Remove after washing. I don't know who is washing this thing, but either care. Just forget about that. Just look at the positive. Okay. If you look at this, it is telling you that the plus sign is on this one here. And usually there will be a height difference and the positive will be just a little bit longer of a wire than the ground. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the second piece of um, uh, heat shrink here and we're going to cut, oh, I don't know, about a 15 millimeter, 10 to 15 millimeter piece here. Okay, set that down. And we're going to get a flux pen and we're going to put some flux on the uh, mount sticking out of the, the wire sticking out of the, the poles, I guess, sticking out of the buzzer, okay? Then I'm going to just very carefully put a little bit of solder on each one just so that it can kind of take real easily. There's one, there's two, nothing big, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to rest it against there kind of like we did when we were soldering two wires together, okay? And I guess I could lean it here like this. I don't know the best way to hold this. Uh, I'll use my helping hands for now. Okay, so let's put the helping hand here and I'm gonna start with the positive wire. So I'm gonna put the helping hand just like this. And there's my positive pole right there. So I'm gonna put my, I have to untwist the wire a little bit so I can put the uh, heat shrink down it so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna expose just a little bit more wire than normal because I want to get a good grip on that pole there with it. So let's do that. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take this, line it up here just like that, place it against the pole and solder it very quickly, okay? There's one, then we can slide our heat shrink down it, okay? And we will heat shrink the first one. Excellent. And we'll now repeat the process for the second one. Okay, so let me turn that around and then I'll show you guys what this end result looks like. The second one, uh, let's go ahead, get the heat shrink again, slid down the ground cable. There we go, get enough of the ground cable exposed. Tin it up just a little bit more. There we go. All right. Now we're going to take the ground and touch it to the other pole here. And there we go. Okay. And now we will, I've got a little bit of a point there. Just want to snip that off so we don't have any sharp pieces. There we go. Now I'm going to bring that down, cover it and heat shrink that on there and our buzzer is now finished now still where we're going to put it who knows but we now have at least the option to put it somewhere okay if you're not going to use a buzzer then you can skip this but if you are you should be good now to um be able to put this and you can put it anywhere so we may just glue it somewhere for all i know i'm not really sure yet where i want to put it but i will find a spot eventually so i'm going to leave that out all right guys so what we have now is we have our camera harness ready we have our receiver harness ready and we have our buzzer ready to go so with that done uh we are pretty much ready to start putting this together and testing it out so we'll be right back with the rest of the video